Hi there, and welcome to Gaining Vision. I'm Melanie. Thanks for tuning in again. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, take a second, hit subscribe, and please don't forget to like and share. The term, the new normal, is being used since COVID-19 has come. And I, I kind of giggle at it, to be honest because it is new to us and it is becoming our norm but the reality is people are making it sound like it's such a big deal yes we're making changes but this is not the first time this has happened in our histories perhaps in our personal history but in history itself just think back world war one world war two all of the big events that changed lives forever had a new normal after that 9-11, life after 9-11 wasn't the same. We had a lot of different security procedures we had to go through. But we adapted and we changed and things became normal again. Normal is a funny word because normal is what we think is normal. Doesn't mean it is normal because for somebody else it could be totally off the wall. But this new normal that we're facing, the social distancing, than not being able to come and go as we used to be able to, being in large groups of people safely and having to be mindful of a virus that could kill us. But life is starting to slowly come back, but in a different form. There's a lot of online activities happening, whether it's Toastmasters or schooling or fireworks even, everything is happening online, safe from the safety of your own home. People are starting to get out slowly but surely, going out with masks and protective equipment to ensure the safety is there. But it's also given us an opportunity to shift our mindsets. Before COVID hit, I don't know about you, but my life was go, 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 here, there, and everywhere. Go to work, come home, go to Toastmasters, back and forth, back and forth. I was on the go nonstop. COVID gave me an opportunity to sit back and go <sighs> and really reflect on what's important in life. Spending time with my family, whether it's connecting virtually on the phone, talking with people I hadn't in a while, staying home and in this new normal, something really amazing happened. I saved so much money. I'm not saying tons and tons and tons in the saving, but I couldn't believe the amount of money I spent on a regular basis to buy coffee, whether it's ha having meals out or just shopping. By not going out, I couldn't believe the amount of money that I was saving. This is something that a lot of people have found and they're taking time to invest that money, taking time to save and plan for the future. Something negative happening can turn into a positive, whether it's the saving money component, connecting with your family, or even just having time to reflect about what's important to you. Yes, we are living in different times and we have to shift to the new normal, but things will get back to a certain degree of how they used to be. But when they do, do you want to lose all the really good things that we've gained during COVID-19? the relationships, the connections that we've made. With Toastmasters, I've traveled around the world. I've gone to all these different countries I would never otherwise have done. I have met people from around the world and made really great connections with people in my life on a deeper level and new people that I've been have never met. I've had the time to better myself by learning and growing and connecting with all of you guys as well. The new normal is different, but it isn't something we should fear. It is something we should embrace. Yes, perhaps we will always stand six feet apart at the grocery store, and perhaps we may always have to wear a mask till a vaccine is found. But also what we've gained during COVID-19 has been some great lessons. What's important in life, how to respect each other, and how to prevent a pandemic from spreading. When you reflect back on all of these historical events that have happened, the new normal at that time was drastic as well. Having to take your shoes off to go through the security system after 9-11, I 
having to line up for hours and hours in the airport just to go on a vacation. It felt so traumatic. But look at the cost factor. Look at all the people that lost their life in 9-11. Those small sacrifices to become the new normal are so small and minuscule in comparison. And that's the same thing with COVID-19. Look how many people have lost their life to it because this virus is invisible. They don't can't see it coming. We all will adjust to the new normal and it will be a small sacrifice to make. But as we adjust to that new normal, ask yourself, what is important? What do you want to keep from the old number normal? I've heard a lot of people say that their families never saw them before COVID-19, that work was their priority. Now people are struggling for work. Now people may have to resort to food banks and things like that in the new normal until they get back on their feet. They say that it may take Canada 10 years for the economy to bounce back. That's a scary fear that we all have. But in this new normal, Maybe we'll take time to appreciate the small things in life, the time with our family, the nature, safely of course, and the importance of saving money so that if another disaster or situation happens where we lose our work or opportunities, we'll be prepared. You can't plan for unforeseen change in our lives, but you can adapt, you can be flexible, you can go with the flow and adjust as needed. That's what we have to do with the new normal. And we have to stay positive because if we don't stay positive, then it becomes very depressing. But look at the resilience of the people that came before us and how they bounced back from all of those new normals. Our old normal was probably a new normal to some. We adjusted, we loved it, we thrived. And we can do the same with our new normal. So ask yourself, what does your new normal look like? Because this is the time for you to shape it. This is, what is your goal? What are your goals? What do you want out of the new normal? Yes, you'll have to fi follow some guidelines with your new normal, but this is an opportunity for you to shift and change your life. What will your new normal look like? I'd love to hear, please comment below. Let's have this dialogue about how this new normal will change us. Yes, perhaps we'll be doing more things virtually, or at least social distancing. But we can have just as much fun and we can enjoy life even to its fullest at that point too. Think about it, take some time and reflect. I know a lot of us have been at home for a long time and have reflected on this. New can be scary. It's the fear of the unknown. Normal is subjective. So the new normal together, oh my goodness, it can be overwhelming, but it also can be exciting. So let's embrace it, let's run with it, and let's enjoy it. So until next time, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share, and I'll catch you next time.